Hey, what's up guys? So today I want to talk about war gear and this is an updated video. I want to talk about the best ways to get good war gear in 2023. Since my first video that I did about a year ago, there's been uh, a lot of new updates and also I'm pretty sure this is going to be a lot better than the guide that I did last February. So first off, when we talk about good war gear what are we talking about so obviously i currently have my mix set on and one thing that you you guys are going to notice if you're new to the game or if you have a little bit of experience is that everything that i have in my mix set is level 60. so basically that's going to be the theme of this video you want to work on your level 60 gear and one of the reasons for that is if you look at i've seen other guys where people that talk talk about um, uh, mix uh, free to play uh, war gear and what they show you is stuff like this the winter stompers they talk about the worm lantern they talk about the terror blade and stuff like that the thing guys let's go see one one that's really good at level 40 is the uh, bon appetit one so these guys they don't require any rare materials so you use uh, you need, for in instance, the plume on the uh, Bon Appetit. While, if you guys are familiar with Bon Appetit, you need Alos, and Alos are really hard to get. So, uh, when we're talking about those level 40, when you see those guides, one thing you gotta keep in mind is that a level 40 piece of equipment at gold is about the equivalent of a... Uh, let's go look at the all equipment. Uh, for instance, if you look at, like I said, the um, the Bon Appetit level 40, if you look at the stats, uh, where is it? Where is it? There it is. You see plus 10 infantry attack and range. So if you go and you compare that to a level 60, remember, so that's basically 20% attack total. Uh, if you compare that to a level 60 at blue, uh, at, at green grade, Basically, for instance, the Bumblebee Elm gives you 10, basically 9 and 9 plus 6.2 army HP. Which is, which is, which is better, right? At level 60, this is better. If you look at, same thing, if you look at the Beast Elm, it's a little bit less of attack, infantry and cav, but then the army HP makes up for it. So, basically, that's my point. Level 60 equipment is a lot better than level 40, obviously, but the, the difference is as soon as you get it to blue, you're definitely, it's definitely better, right? It's always going to be better. So obviously I will talk about level 60. In some case, maybe a level 50 piece of equipment, but my suggestion is only focus on level 60. Um, that's going to be the theme of this video, guys. So... Uh, yeah, good pe good gear is we're talking about level 60. So uh, when you, obviously if you look at the elms, champion is gonna be a different beast, obviously, but the monster one. So like in in that case for helmet, you're gonna be looking at cornet, beast elm, bumblebee elm. Let's skip the champion, and that's it. I don't want to suggest you guys build anything at all except from those three. Uh, armor, same thing, Terror Shield from Terror Thorn, the Firewall Plate, and I think that's it, right? Uh, the Beastly uh, Breastplate is also very good, but aside from that, I would not suggest building the uh, Queen Bee uh, level 55 armor. And the reason for that is you guys should focus on one piece per set. So that's going to be the second uh, topic. But if we keep going, if you go at the legs, Gargan, and Bell, the Dragon's Talon, the Storm Tacit is where you want to go, go first. Um, you're going to see Blizzard Pants. This comes from the, um, what's it called? Arctic Flipper. So basically, just look, just look at the st status of my rares, guys. I got 11 grays and 1 green. This monster has been basically in the game for <laughs> i think it's been like a year and a half and this is the only thing i was able to get i have not built anything so um i'm gonna come back to this later but uh if you're free to play don't don't go for these well i mean you can but don't 
don't add your hopes up. It's going to take a long, long, long time. And unless there are some new um, ways to get rare materials, uh, yeah, you're never going to get that to gold or mythic, <laughs> obviously. Keep going to main end. Frostwing Greatsword is one that you want to look at. Skull Crusher is better than Frostwing Greatsword. But the thing is, they're both level 60. They come from different uh, monsters, so you can build them both at the same time and simply use the one that's better for you. The rule of thumb when you look at these two guys is that the Skull Crusher is about as good as the Frostwing when it's one grade lower. So when they're on the same grade, the Skull Crusher is always better. And depending on what grade you compare uh, these two, uh, sometimes the, the Frostwing Greatsword will be better if it's one grade above, but it's rare. It's like, I think it's when you compare a green to a blue and when you compare a, um, a purple to a gold. But otherwise, the Skull Crusher is usually either equal or slightly better. Uh, and then... I think that's it. Yeah, the Ghastly Cane is also good. The Eon Axe is also good, but these guys are really hard to get. So the Cottage Roar, really hard to get. And the, uh, that's the same one. The Eon Axe from the Gorilla is also hard to get. But these monsters, there are um, more ways to get rare materials compared to, let's say, the Arctic Flipper. So, but you want to focus on the level 60. If you go to the Offen, the Winter Mitts is one of them. Eternal Codex is also one of them. Uh, Lunar Boomerang from the Hookla. Uh, the Eerie Lantern is one that's really hard to get. Oh, it's from the Cottage Roar. So th there's, there are a couple of new monsters. And I say new monsters, but we haven't had a new monsters in quite a while. In at least a year and a half. Um, so these monsters have two pieces of equipment at level 60. So... Once again, focus on one piece of equipment per monster, monster set. Don't split your rares. Same thing, keep going on the level 60 often. That is from the Necrosis. That's another monster where you have to make a choice at level 60. And as far as the accessories, and like I said, I'm not looking at Champion because it's a different beast, but the Blight Ring from Mega Maga, the Cups from Bon Appetit, uh, what else? The Rowdy Resolve from the Gorilla. The Book of the Dead from the Necrosis, and that's it. You want to focus on level 60. You don't want to split your, raise, your rares between different pieces of equipment. So, uh, like I said, careful with the newer monsters. So, when we talk about newer monsters, guys, we're talking about... Let's go at the monster, the sets. Starting at Hoopla. So, Hoopla, Cottage Drawer, Gorilla. If you look, you'll see two of them. Two of them at level 60. You need to make a choice. Uh, Arctic Flipper. And then, yeah, the last three uh, are really, really hard to get because there's not a lot of ways to get rares. And if you go just with the... Um, if you look at this... <laughs> I've got nine grays and one green from the Serpent Gladiator. Uh, I remember when I did the first video, I think I had nothing. So basically, I got... Since last year, in one year, I got nine grays and one green. Not enough to forge something at gray grade. So good luck with that. Um, my suggestion is don't focus on the newer monster. Focus on the older ones. There's a lot more ways to get material. All right. Let's talk about the different sets, uh, monster sets, basically. So there are basically some monsters are what we call blast set. And some of them are mixed. So uh, obviously Griffin is not a war uh, monster, but basically, so Frostwing would be a mixed. You see it's infantry, cab, and range. And if you look at the rest of the, the, the equipment, it's also somewhat mixed. Um, Snow Beast would be mixed. Jade Worm, Terrorthorn, and Gargantua are all blast. So Jade Worm is for range. Terrorthorn is for infantry. Gargantua is for cav. Uh, the thing is, once again, I suggest that you focus on the level 60 on each of these pieces of equipment. I know that in the past, a lot of people would build the fear drum. I would suggest to do one fear drum nowadays and then uh, combine that with um, some of the newer monsters 
uh, at the same like if you look at the let's go to let's go back I just want to go back to uh, I want to compare let's say a gold a gold drum where is it the gold drum would give you 16 uh, attack wow it's not that big 16% attack obviously it only costs one eye to build uh, but 16% attack and uh, whoa where is it 16% attack and 5.5% HP so let's go look at the newer monsters uh, equipment so basically there's this guy here that gives attack and defense so if we look at the green grade obviously that would not be as good but at the green grade if you look at this the rowdy resolve would not be as good if you look at blue then okay well you got close to 12 percent five five percent hp and basically uh three and a half percent defense that would still not beat the um the fear drum at gold but it would not be very far so obviously once you reach uh, uh purple then it obviously is it better yes it is better uh a little bit better yeah a little bit better because we're talking about i said 16 and 5.5 and at purple you get basically 16 and a little bit uh so basically this is equal but then the defense makes it up uh makes up for it making the rowdy resolve better uh, and then if you look at this, it's about the same thing. So at purple, uh, and it's a huge investment to get these to purple. Uh, don't don't get me wrong. If you're free to play, though, you are uh, mostly going to be looking at a mix set rather than a blast set. Um, but basically, that's how you should look at it. Uh, is there uh, anything else you may sometime want to use? Well, if you do build a, a, a mix set, you're going to put some jewels in your in your cups or in your blight ring, which will make it better than the, the, the drums. So that's why I always say for everything except maybe the fear drum for the, uh, the, um, the um, uh, Gargantua set, I would say go for uh, level 60 only. Gargantua would probably be the only one where I would say go ahead and build one or two drums, but don't don't build three. Um, I think you can do better than that on your third piece of accessory. Mega Maggot is mixed. Eldrider is also mixed, uh, but if you look at this, it's mixed, but there's a lot of... Uh, I mean, it's it's all the way mixed, but if you look at the Skull Crusher, uh, it, there's a lot of range in there, and also some infantry defense. I know people don't like defense, but don't uh, don't ignore the the defense. Obviously, 25% defense is not as good as 25% attack, but 25% defense is probably equal to 5% attack or something like that. I don't know the exact stat. Someone can probably calculate that. It's not gonna be me. Uh, Grim Reaper is a mixed uh, mixed uh, set. Saber Fang is cav and infantry, but it's mostly used on, on infantry because it's a great piece on the helmet for infantry. Blackwing is mostly range, uh, obviously, but it's a great piece of uh, mix in a mix set. Uh, Mech Trojan is also a great piece uh, mix set for uh, cav, it's good for cav, but it's good on a mix set. It's very good on a mix set, I should say. Uh, the queen bee is also a mix a mix set. It's really useful for um, even though there's a lot of range attack, there's a better piece of equipment for the the, the range blast. But on the mix set, once again, very good. Bon appetit is very good for infantry and as well as range. But it's a great piece of, of in your mix set. Uh, the newer monster have a setup like this, but it's it's. You guys know that getting Alos is hard, but getting the newer uh, uh, monsters rares is a lot harder. So um, yeah, uh, Bon Appetit is really great. Title Titan is also a great um, mix set piece of equipment. It competes with the Dragon Stallion. Uh, at the same grade, the Storm Tasset is better, but it's obviously harder to get the Storm Tasset, um, the rares, the pearls. 
and then you have the well the newer monster hoopla is range well no that's not true that's not true uh it's range or cav depending on which piece you select uh cut a drawer is 100 percent infantry uh gorilla is 100 percent cavalry uh, so that's why when I look at Ukla, I, I, you guys should be really working on this piece of equipment rather than the often, I believe. Um, yeah, and then the Krosis is like I said, it, it is, you have the accessory, which is a mix of uh, infantry and cav. The Arctic Flipper is also... Uh, I thought there was two piece oh yeah the polar ring i cannot yeah i cannot build the polar ring but it's it's once again cabin range it's a great accessory but it's really hard to get same thing for the serpent gladiator i cannot build a level 60 so there's an helmet so those are mix um mix piece of equipment so yes there's two types there's blast and mixed um obviously free to play work on your mix set first and then later on you can focus on your blast set but that does not mean that you cannot or should not uh, build the level 60 piece of gear from the blast set monsters okay let's talk about how to get rare material because yeah it's 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 nice to know what you uh what you can and what you should build but how do you get the rare material so there's two there's really two ways to get rare materials. There's reliable ways and unreliable ways. So what, what do I consider reliable? It, it means that when you do something in the game, there's a reliable ways for you to get rare materials. So one of them is the login gifts. So just log in daily, go to the login gifts. You are going to get basically every three weeks, you're going to get a blue rare. So Obviously, you need a lot of rares. That's a great way to get some. Um, don't skip a day. I mean, if you skip a day, if you log in but you forget to claim, you can uh, claim multiple days as long as you logged in during that during the days. You have basically, tw I think it's 28 days to do that 21 uh, to go through the 21 day cycle. But obviously, I always claim my gifts every day now another a new ways to get uh rare materials is from the forge supply it's basically the same thing it's a it's a daily login uh just go and claim your free gift it's a guaranteed gray rares uh you can also i've gotten some green obviously often some blue rarely and i, I got i think i got one purple on each account so far I even got a, a gold one on an account. I got a gold bell on an account where I had the winter mitts already um, mythic. But basically, uh, you're, you're going to get lucky at some point. You're going to get some great drops. Uh, I have not calculated what's the how, how many rares or rare equivalent you can expect on a daily basis. But you're guaranteed a great. I'm thinking you're gonna get about the equivalent about two to three grays per day on a long period, as long as you uh, click on that. Obviously, you're gonna get some rares that you don't really need, like I'm getting the um, Frostwing hearts and as well as the bells that I really don't need. Same thing with the, you're gonna get some Griffin, you're gonna get uh, Nosferos that you really kinda don't want, and maybe even the Voodoo Shaman that you really don't want, depending on if you're working on that but it's a great reliable way to get some uh rare material the other one uh, we don't see it obviously uh, we just left the bargain store we had the bargain store uh it's a great way so save your gems guys uh my suggestion is uh always save your gems and use your gems for there's three way three things you should use your gems first of all use your gems to get your buildings to level 25 so I'm talking about the prison, the altar, and the uh, battle hall. Uh, you need that for Academy 25, so uh, buy those materials to get those buildings up. The treasure trove is also good because uh, if you play long enough, it's going to pay itself. So that's a great investment. Once you've done that, the other two things I, I would suggest is 
buy some uh, tycoon tokens from time to time, but don't buy tokens at the expense of bargain store. So my suggestion is always save gems for the bargain store and buy the rare materials in there. Uh, and after that, I would say go ahead and buy some tycoon tokens because there's going to be a uh, that's another reliable way right now the tycoon is the rotation is queen bee so you're gonna get some chess but definitely you want to land on those rare materials so uh either a green or gray do i see any gray yeah there are some grays there so obviously you want to land on those uh, those rare materials uh there are four rotation one of them is Voodoo Shaman. The other one are really good. Like we're talking about Bon Appetit, Tidal Titan, and Queen Bee. These are really hard to get. The drop rates on chess are bad. So you want to focus on that. Either the Bargain Store or the Tycoon. But prioritize Bargain Store first. Uh, next up is another reliable way is Exchange Extravaganza. So the last couple exchange extravaganza, uh, I think we're due for one. It's been a couple weeks now. Um, I think I said in the past, they, these have been like every two months. I think it's more around like six weeks. I have not figured out the, um, the calendar just yet on this, but it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a great way to get rare material. In the past, we used to have exchange where you could exchange for rare materials. Nowadays, it's mostly uh, monstrous chess and monstrous crate. Right now, I don't have any. Uh, do I have any? No, I did open a bunch of chess uh, about a week ago. Yep, so I don't have these, but the monstrous chest and the monstrous crate will give you a bunch of rare material. So there, these are guaranteed uh, rare material drop. Obviously, you're going to get Griffin, you're going to get Nosros, uh, but uh, obviously you're going to get everything else, which is really great for, uh, for, your, um, for your war gear. All right, and next up, guys... It's also a uh, reliable way, but it's a lot of effort. We're talking about the 24 hour challenge. You can get some green rares from that event. So today it's a troop training, and I can get a toxin, a jade orb, and also a Nosros uh, lightning vial, which obviously is not for war gear, but every day uh, there is a challenge and you can get either one green or three green. So if it's a Chaos Dragon event, there's only gonna be one uh, green rare mat. Otherwise, there's gonna be three. Um, usually there's two of them that's for war gear and there's one for uh, basically support gear. Uh, whenever it's a non-Chaos Dragon and when it's Chaos Dragon, usually the green rare mat is a war, uh, it's, it's towards a war uh, piece of gear. So obviously, um, lots of effort. <laughs> That's it's a it's a reliable in the sense that you're gonna get some rare material, but it's unreliable in the fact that you're gonna need to do that to spend a lot of resources to get those. So, but it's a way to get some rare materials. Uh, aside from that, there's also um, labyrinth. Labyrinth is. Uh, so today it's it's Frostwing, uh, it's Frostwing in the Labyrinth. So every week, every other week it's Frostwing, and every other week it's a different monster that gives uh, rare material. So we, you would see that by clicking in the rewards. Uh, as far as I know, tomorrow is going to be. I don't I don't recall what's what it's going to be. I think it's the Terror Thorn monster, but I know that there's going to be some blueprints, for instance, tomorrow. Uh, maybe uh, black wing eye something like that. I know that I'm personally gonna use I should not have clicked on that But I'm gonna use my 50,000 holy star Close to 60,000 holy star to try to get my firewall plate to gold uh, with this When it switch tomorrow in five hours So it's reliable in the sense that um, You can pretty much much expect to get some rare material uh, by using Holy Star, there's a random effect to it. I mean, I've I've used last time it was um, uh, the the Eldrider uh, brains, and I was trying to get my last green uh, on my main 
and I could simply, I, I, I use like 40,000 uh, Oli Stars and I did not get one single brain. I got the other types of rare material, but I sadly I could not get the ones that I was looking for. But basically it's reliable in the sense that you can expect a certain amount of rares with a certain amount of Oli Stars used. Uh, and lastly, in the reliable ones, although there is a limit, it's trial by fire. So by doing trial by fire, uh, you can get some rare materials. Uh, right now, as you can see, I've, I've completed the infantry and the cav stage. Although uh, I say completed, but there's a, there's a chance that we're gonna get uh, extra straight stages at some point, because if you look at the last stage, uh, where is it? Well, the last stage I can look at this one. Yeah, this one. Uh, it's 291,000. So right, they're going towards 300,000 troops. So I would not be surprised if we get some more stage where it goes all the way to 300,000 troops. Um, but yeah, you can get some... Yeah, I, I will go with one that I have not completed because whenever you see that little um, chest here, uh, that's going to be a special drop. So in that case, it is Archaic Tome. But uh, if I go to mix stage, maybe I should, maybe I'm going to see one with a rare. Ah, see, I'm, I'm currently doing the stage where I get some uh, monster jewels. But yeah, you can expect basically every day by doing 50 stage every day, you can expect between one and two gray. So let's say one and a half gray every day on each stage. So basically if you if you sweep all of them, so that's basically six grays per day. You get different type of material and at some different stages you can get um, yeah, it's so you're gonna it's gonna start with the uh, third thorn, the jade worm, the gargantua, and then at some point you reach another stage where you get different types. So but on average you get like six grays a day. And it's been ongoing for about 200 days, a little bit more than that. Now it's stuck. So obviously, guys, there are guides on how to do trial by fire. I have some guides on my channel, uh, but um, it is obviously when you start, you're not going to be able to, to clear the stages every day. Uh, you're going to get stuck at some point. I got stuck on mixed stage for a long time. I just started to... Uh, yeah, I've just started to uh, sweep some again. It's been about six, seven days now that I'm sweeping, but I'm gonna get to a point where I'm gonna be stuck again. So, uh, and as you can see the range stage, I cannot do it at this point. I am, my, my clothes, not really 9,000. Um, and yeah, if I try it, I'm, I'm stuck there. I could probably look at it, do something different, but I, I think at this point, I just need to work on my um, on my gear and stuff like that. My gear as well as my uh, familiars. This is not the best setup, and this guy is not maxed out, if I recall. Is he? He's not. So yeah. All right. But trial by fire is a reliable way, although, like I said, there is a cap where you cannot uh, get. Um, obviously, at, once you reach the max, you cannot get rare materials anymore. Now, I talked about reliable ways to get rare mat. Now, as far as unreliable, all right. It's not gonna be a surprise to everyone. A lot of people think that monster hunting is the way to go. It is, in fact, one of the worst ways to get rare material, but you need to hunt because you still need the secondary material on every set that you're gonna build. Now, hunting is very unreliable sure you click on the monster you see well i can get some blue eyes from this all right uh trust me guys it is unreliable i have looked at the reports on my five accounts over the last three days so basically that's five days of monster that's sorry three days times five accounts that's 15 days of monster hunting i don't really use energy from my bag to complete my kills but I kill a bunch of monsters every day. I do have hunting ground, so I kill on average, I would say, uh, one level three monster every day, plus about three to four level two monster on each account. So that's a lot of hunting. Uh, and over the last three days on five accounts, so 15 days worth of hunting, I only got two gray rare material. So it is very, very unreliable. 
Uh, even with Monster Hunt Bus, basically you're gonna get some rare materials from Guild Gifts, um, but they are rare. Uh, if you do a Monster Hunting Bus, you're gonna get some rares eventually. Yes, especially if you do like the big ones where you get like a couple level four, level fives, but that's a lot of investment when you're free to play. Obviously, you probably don't have the gear. Uh, you probably don't have the energy in your bag. As you can see, this is the kind of gear that I'm working with. It's not really good, uh, but it does the job. I can still kill a bunch of monsters every day, uh, which you guys should too. Uh, monster hunting is really good for everything else. The gems, the speed up, the resources, as well as the secondary material that you get. But it is very, very unreliable. Guild gifts will give you some... Uh, there's no guarantee, even if you're guild, if, I mean, we get like more than 300 gifts a day. I don't check what I get, but I know that I, <laughs> there are a lot, there are several days where I don't get any rare material. It's very, very unreliable. And lastly, chests, monster hunting chests, not monster hunting chests, but chests from monsters are very unreliable. So the drop rate uh, on on these chests range from 3% on the ch on the artist one so get, when you look at the bon appetit uh, the ch so basically if you open a hundred uh, chest on average I'm saying I'm not saying every time you open a hundred guys it is stats it is it is simple math every time you open a hundred chests on average you're gonna get three rares. You guys know as well as I do that for these guys, probably not. But on average, you're gonna get about three rares, and then the common and the 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 gray and the greens are about. I think they're about like 80%, and then you get uh, about 15, five, and 0.1% for blue, purple, and gold. It's really low. Uh, I'm I'm just repeating those numbers from memory. Let's go look. At the, if you look at the mall, you can see the drop rate. Let's hope that it doesn't crash my game. It does not, but I will need to restart my uh, my app. Um, but yes, basically, if you look at the official drop rates, there we go. Let's go look at I don't. Let's go look at the the monster equipment material chest. So. So basically, the Festival on Snow Beast is about 4%. Uh, Gargantua is 8%. Uh, Nostra, 6%. Queen Bee, 3%. Like I said, 3%. Really, really hard to get. Frostwing, 6%. So it is between 3 and I think the biggest one as far as, um, as, far as War Gear is... Uh, where, where is it? Where is it? It is the Mecha Trojan. Okay, Mecha, Mecha Trojan... Uh, as well as uh, I think the black wing uh, is also one of the best rates and if you guys have some uh, any experience with those those opening those chests uh, yeah it, it, it makes sense and then okay so it's about 30% blue 30% uh, gray 30% green 30% rare I I don't think I I don't think that's quite right. I don't think that's quite right. Um, but yeah, so basically, uh, you need to open a lot of chests, and it's very, very unreliable. And it's hard. Chests are hard to get, also. Okay, so how can you get some chests? Obviously, you get some chests on a daily basis from the daily quests. So. Once you get to uh, 80 AP uh, points, you can get one Voodoo Shaman, and then you get, obviously, four uh, Snow Bees, four Jade Worm, as well as four Terror Thorn. Um, that's at Castle 25. Uh, before that, you only get, like, Griffin Chests. So, obviously, if you want to get some uh, War Gear uh, kind of chests, you want to get to Castle 25 kind of ASAP. Um, there's some downside to that. By staying lower castle, you have a better chance of ranking high in the solo L and challenge. Um, but the you're gonna, not gonna get chests from the solo event, from the L event. You will now if you're lower than castle 25. I don't know what kind of chests you get. I don't recall. Uh, probably not gonna get as many, obviously. 
and um, basically just by completing an L event usually you get some uh, chest and usually there's a combination so in that case it's not thrust and uh, frost wing not my uh, favorite L event because it costs a lot basically to get 830,000 points I guess yes not might but point it's a combination of might for um, might for research and then some points for troop training um, but yeah and, and and then to get some very I mean I'm not a big fan of uh, frost wing so that's why I don't really like this and I'm done kind of done with Nosros uh, on this account um, but yeah you can get obviously chess from L event uh, when you rank in the top 10 you also get chest uh, but it's not a lot and obviously once you're castle 25 uh, that's a lot of effort to get in uh, rank 10. Um, it's not global, but it's it's uh, it's uh, top stance of winter if open to guilds from all ki kingdom. I believe that there are some kingdoms that are grouped together. I, I, I'm pretty sure that they're grouped together. I don't know uh, which ones are grouped together. It's not all kingdoms, so there can be more than one rank one, I believe, with the castle 25 category, for instance. Maybe I'm wrong, but at the end of the day, it's really hard to get in the top 10 regardless. So that's, it's 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 an unreliable way to get an unreliable way to get an unreliable way to get some rare materials. So don't go for that. And I've talked about the challenge, obviously. You, uh, you can get some uh, rares, but also if you rank, you can get some, well, no, you can, you cannot get some rare material or chests monster chess from the challenge show the other uh, the other thing there's are some events not the guild showdown but uh, basically you can get some chess from uh you're gonna get chess from kvk you're gonna get chess from um lord's cup although lord's cup you're gonna get some monstrous chess uh but you want to do the events you want to get at least phase three on those events uh, to get some chest or rare material uh, but those are basically the ways that you can get chests. Obviously, there's Gilfest also. Gilfest is a great way to get chests. Uh, if you look at the rewards, you guys are probably familiar with that, so I'm not going to go over the rewards. But yeah, you can obviously choose the chest on there, which for free to play, it's usually a great uh, choice to make um, just for the random chance of getting like a purple or a gold. Now, as far as the sets that you guys want to do so obviously like i said if you're free to play you're gonna want to work on a mix set uh, a mix set is always useful uh for um uh, if you want to go uh trap you want a fury uh it's you should always start with a mix set in mind so obviously level 60 if you have piece of equipment that are not level 60 um, there may be some good and some bad reasons most likely bad reasons like mistakes done in the past which is normal to make some mistakes you guys just need to adapt and uh, and um, change the way that you're playing uh, and reconfigure your uh, your equipment like I said I once build a uh, level 55 purple armor. I really regret that nowadays. Uh, obviously, the this piece of equipment at blue is better than this piece at purple. So I wish I had all those rares uh, uh, lying around. I would be uh, well on my way to get this. Obviously, I would not add this to gold, but let's say for instance, I'm missing about five, and if I add the extra five purple and five blue and five green and five grays that I used on the armor, I would be close to seven. So that would be pretty good. Uh, but that's how you want to look at it uh, now. So basically, you want to work on a mix set. So what's good on a mix set for free to play? Uh, cups and uh, rings are really good. Uh, sorry, cups. Two cups and one ring is a great setup. Three cups would be better, but the thing is, uh, by doing three cups, it's gonna take you a longer time. So if you do two cups and one ring, uh, you're gonna be at one gold cup and one purple cup, and let's say one gold ring, uh, a lot faster than you're gonna be at 
one gold cup and two purple cups. So my suggestion is work on two plus one. And once you're done with these at Mythic, you can start working on the third cup. But basically, if you if you go three cups, you're just it's just gonna take you a lot longer. And a blight ring is not obviously uh, uh, at the same grade. The blight ring is not as good. At a higher grade, it's about the same as a cup. So once this is gold, this is gonna be equal to uh, a purple cup, which is kind of somewhat close to to, to gold. And basically at that point, the extra cup that I would have forged, I would, it would take me just that long to get a cup, another cup to gold. So that's why if you're free to play my suggestion, two cup and one, uh, one ring, the Winter Mitts is really easy to build. It's a great piece and uh, any mix set for free to play as well as like smaller pay to play players. So I would do this. The Codex is really hard to do. You, the, the curse skull are hard to get, so I would not go with this. Now the boots, like I said, uh, Dragon Stallion's good. The uh, Storm Tasset is also really good. In fact, the Storm Tasset at the same grade is better, but um, I have my uh, I have my jewels in this piece of equipment, and I I basically I want to. This is part of also my range set, so that's why I'm jeweled that way. Otherwise, I would suggest going with the storm tasset. set. Uh, obviously, I will get this to gold a lot faster. I'm close, really close. Well, really close. I'm missing three, and on this one, I just. I just got basically I just got this one to purple recently so that's why I don't want to do this but otherwise at the same grade you guys should go with storm tacit uh, there's nothing really uh, nothing else really as far as the um, the armor uh, firewall plays basically the only thing you should be building on your as far as mix set free to play there's really no alternative on the uh, the helmet uh, both the bumblebee and the Beast Helm are good for a mix set. The Bumblebee is slightly better. I mean, we can look it up. Uh, let's go look it up. But uh, all equipment, uh, helmet. So you got, yeah, you got basically four, uh, 84 attack compared to about uh, 77. So you, you got about, yeah, you got 7% more attack and you get 7% more HP. So obviously the Bumblebee is better, it's way better, but it costs, I think it's one more rare, right? Uh, 10, oh no, it's the same, it is the same, yeah. Sorry, this one? Yeah, it, it costs the same amount of rares. Uh, so, but yeah, the, the Bumblebee is better. You get travel speed uh, on the helmet, which is really good, uh, but it's, as far as defending on a mix set, the Bumblebee is better. And if we go to the last piece of equipment, which basically, guys, I know a lot of people use the Frostwing Greatsword. Uh, like I said, you can build both of them at the same grade. The Skull Crusher is better. At one grade above, the, the Frostwing Greatsword is basically on par. It's about the same. Now, it, it is... At some level, and I have a video on that, <laughs> if you guys want to watch it, I know that there's uh, a lot of people that are, they, they really love their goal, uh, their uh, Frostwing Greatsword for whatever reason. Um, I know that in the past, a lot of people were building this because it, it's, it, it's only attack, right? The thing is, the army attack from the Skull Crusher kind of beats it. I mean, you look at this, the army attack, uh, at the uh, so basically that's 28 28 28 you would compare to that so obviously the army attack from the skull crusher at the same grade is better if you look at gold it's really it's really it scales the same so 12.5 now at purple <laughs> it is better but if you look at this uh, and you add this and you also add the infantry now you you want to compare this to one grade above so uh, 13 and 9.5 and you compare that to basically this so obviously the range uh, we're talking about the range would be better on the skull crusher one grade lower the cav would be better on the frost wing but if you look at the infantry basically you want to look at the 
13% from the attack from the Skull Crusher. And then also on the Skull Crusher, you got 16% defense. So does that 16% make up for the 7% difference? Probably not, but it's really close. So that's why I say that the Frostwing Greatsword, one grade above, is really about the same as the, the, fro the Skull Crusher. So obviously the Skull Crusher costs nine rares compared to the four that costs from the uh, Frostwing Greatsword. The difference though is that you can get some brains from the uh, Monstrous Crate and Chess, and you can also get some brains from the uh, Login Gifts, while you cannot get that from the Frost... Uh, you cannot get the arts from those uh, methods uh, for the Frostwing Greatsword. And basically, uh, so if you look at this, um, Basically, it costs, okay, so if you look at this, it costs nine rares, nine purple to get this to purple. And it costs, basically, to get this, it costs 16 purple to get this to gold. So that's, that's, that's how you really want to look at it. Um, it is, it is more expensive to build a Frostwing Greatsword. My suggestion is, do it, get it to gold, but never, uh, never build it to mythic. It is a waste of embers. Uh, if you're free to play, you're gonna have a hard time getting embers. Uh, and then please don't put some astral light on it. Save it for something better. Uh, like I said, um, the skull crusher one grade below is about the same. So that's what you want to do on a mix set. Now, as far as blast set, um, you probably will want to have. A, a blast set that's that is in line with how you jewel your stuff. So if we're looking, for instance, on my range set, if I do this, um, this is how it looks like. So it it is on par with my um, with my mix set with these guys as well as this. Aside from these two pieces of equipment, it's all part of my mix set. Um, Obviously, the codex would probably be better if it was fully jeweled, but there's there's really a big difference between purple and mythic on this. So maybe a later on when this is at gold, maybe I will do the swap. And once I'm done completely jeweling gold, my mix, my mix set, I'm going to start working on my blast set. But otherwise, that's why sometimes you have um, basically on subpar piece of equipment in your blast set. Uh, hopefully there's going to be some great ways to get hookla to that, but that's really how you want to do it. If I want to look, I don't have a quick swap for infantry, but infantry, I would still keep this uh, because this is better than the alternatives that I have, the way it is jewel also. Um, but then I would go and I would select the beast down. Most likely if I look and I, and I select this, what's the difference? So I'd be losing, yeah, I'd be losing this. Uh, to gain 3.5% HP, so I, that, that would not be worth it. Um, and then I would certainly use this in, in, uh, for, uh, for infantry. Now, do I want to do, do that? I would lose 9% uh, infantry attack, uh, but I would gain 35% gain defense and I would lose 3.5%. It... I don't know, I, th I think it might be better to keep the Dragon uh, Talon with the way it is jeweled right now. And if I look at the, um, basically for, for instance, if I wanna go for a Cav, I have, I did three uh, drums. I wish I had done only two. Well, the last one is at, at purple. So uh, I would be looking at, do I wanna do this? So I'd be losing 1.5, it's because of the jewels. Um, but I would be getting this and this in HP and defense, but then you compare that with this. Uh, I think that with my ring at my jewels right now, it is better than this. I will not get this to gold, for instance, but basically you want to look at the way when you're free to play, you want to look at the way your mix set is jewel uh, on out. You want to uh, do your, your blast set. My suggestion is... <laughs> Leave the blast set for your rally leads. Work on your mix set. Get your gear uh, basically as high as you can. Once you're fully jeweled, you can start jeweling your blast set. But as you can see, this is a four-year-old account. It takes a long, long time. So expectation, 
let's talk about timeline. So basically, like I said, this is a four year old account. I have everything at purple. I'm closing in on some piece of equipment at gold, like this guy right here. I'm missing one and a half, one and a quarter basically. Uh, like I said, with the next rotation, I'll probably get it. So uh, basically the first in the first year, you should get a uh, about a green, between a green and a blue set, depending on how active you are. Um, and depending on how you use your gems, if you if you skip all the buildings and you and you spend your gems on the bargain store, you're gonna get some great equipment, but you're not gonna unlock the uh, the the um, the buildings to get Academy 25, which there's <laughs> Academy 25 is a, is kind of a must unless you're going for a trap for a low level trap or whatever. Um, but yeah, so basically you're gonna get something around green and blue in your within your first year by the time you hit the, your second year that's where you're gonna have most of your set at purple maybe you're gonna have one cup at blue one cup at purple at, at around the the two to three year mark and around the four year mark that's where you're gonna start to get into the close to gold or you're gonna get some piece of equipment at gold i obviously uh, at I know there's a lot of players that that with a four-year-old account have better piece of equipment for free-to-play players than this. Obviously, I'm running several accounts, so I cannot focus 100% on one account at a time. But uh, for people that only have one account and are that are focused on the game, that are playing optimally, they'll have a gold piece of equipment uh, at the four-year mark. Definitely 100% free to play without any gifting, without uh, IgG uh, rewards with the content uh, creator, turf, stuff like that. Um, the uh, winter mitts are going to get to gold within about three, uh, two and a half years, about two to two and a half years. Yep. And uh, as far as mythic, it, around like the three, three and a half uh, it, which is what took uh, it, it took me on this account. So this is basically the timeline you should be looking at. The, the expectation for free to play is you can get all of this to gold. You can get everything to gold and mythic. It's just slower. You got to plan ahead and you got to have your expectation to match uh, basically how long it's going to take the experience of other players. Uh, if you guys have seen someone like Brendo free to play has been playing for six six, seven years, something like that. Obviously, when, when he started, he, uh, th there were less methods of getting rare material. Now we have a lot more methods, but even him uh, having played for six, seven years, uh, I think he has a mostly purple, and I think he has maybe like the, the great sword at Mythic, I think, something like that. Um, but, uh, but yeah, that, those are the, uh, th those are, those should be your expectations as far as the timeline. Uh, it is, it's an updated guide from one that I did last year. I've added a couple comments on the new ones. New ones would be like the forge supplies and trial by fire, but basically it's the same concept guys. You gotta be efficient. You gotta save your gems for bargain store. You gotta save your speed up for extravaganza and stuff like that. You got to play daily. You got to get everything that you can. I'll do all the events, skilled bash, KVK, get phase three. Same thing with Lord's Cup. It sucks. A lot of people hate that mini game, but it gives you three, uh, three rares every three weeks. And some of those rares might be green, blue, purple, but it's a guaranteed three gray rare. So all right, guys, that's about it for this video. Let me know in the comments below what you guys are doing. I know it's been a long video. It's like close to one hour. That that <laughs> That's basically what it is. Free to play. It takes a long time. So thanks for watching, guys, and see you later.